go into the room. They want to sign me for management. Holy shit. I ended up signing with Rock Nation. I ended up signing with Jay-Z as my management. So clap it up for Rock Nation and my, my manager, Nima, back there. Uh, yeah. So uh, go ahead. You want to play some tunes? Too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half yeah. an hour left. Okay, Whatever. cool. Um, so I ended up signing with Rock Nation, guys. Um, it was a big moment for me because, like I said, guys, I always wanted to be a part of that because I love Jay-Z. I'm from Brooklyn. And then my manager, Nima took me to Spotify. I want to give a big shout out to Tuma. I always give him a shout out. Spot Spotify, um, yeah, Spotify's cool. Um, but shout out to Tuma, who does not work at Spotify anymore. He works at YouTube. So shout out to YouTube. You guys are lucky to have him. He's incredible. He put my song, Disrespectful, on Rap Caviar, and I ended up taking that $200,000 and moving my parents into their first home with that money. I could have easily wore a nice watch, easily been iced out, talk my shit, but that's not what the, the, the important thing is taking care of the people around you, your family. Make sure you take care of people around you because you, you ain't make it out the hood if your, fa your family's still in the hood, if your parents are still in the hood. That's not, that's not making it out. So um, I took care of my family, and uh, before you know it, um, that Spotify money was good but not good enough. Um, I took a bunch of meetings, and I went to RCA Records, um, shout out to George. Uh, I went to RCA Records and I turned up on their ass. The video went viral and I ended up signing with RCA Records, which is the biggest motherfucking record label today. RCA Records allows you, if you're an artist or producer trying to get signed, go to RCA Records. Why? Because they allow you to do whatever the fuck you want. I dress how I want to dress. I speak how I want to speak. They haven't got me no counselor to tell me what to do. They love me for me. They sign me for me. I drop any song I want for me. So this is why RCA Records is incredible, and I love them. So I ended up signing with RCA Records. Clap it up for RCA Records for signing me. And... Um, I partnered up with them and I have my own label with RCA Records called 423. And this is the reason why some producers are here. I see uh, DJ Nick, DJ Nick over here. Uh, make some noise for him. Um, um, for being here, if you're a producer, artist, anything, we're going to chop it up because I'm not leaving until I have a conversation with everybody in here. Um, um, I really appreciate you guys being here for real. I signed with RCA Records. I put out amazing records that went platinum. Creep on me went platinum. And, and uh, I've been pushing ever since. I'm nowhere near where I want to be, guys, but I'm not where I used to be. And that's the blessing. Uh, you know what I mean? And there's so many people that every day tell me my story inspired them. And guess what? If you're in this room and you have your own story, guess what? Your, your story is going to end up motivating somebody else. So that's why you can't really quit and you can't really be so down on yourself and say forget everything because you know what? But the same building you live in, there's going to be a kid come out that building and sign a bigger deal than you one day. So you got to inspire him to, to continue to push. And even if you're independent and you don't want to sign to anybody, guess what? I did it with Disrespectful. I got $200,000 without no label. But a label is help. And if you think you don't need help, you're crazy. You know what I mean? My father, one day I beat my brother up. My father told both of us, go outside, get a stick. He brought it back, snapped it in his knee. He put it together and he tried to do it again and it wouldn't break. When you stick together, there's no way of falling apart. You need help. You need the lawyer. You need the agent. You need people that have done this shit before so they can help you and, and make sure they point you to the right direction. That's the only way to do it. If you, have, if you walk into a room and you act like you know it all, that shit's flop. That shit's out. That's not it. I used to think I knew it all just to, just to walk into a big ass building and realize I did not know shit. I signed to Rock Nation, I did not know shit. I signed to RCA Records, I did not know shit. I continue, I continuously keep learning about the business and I continue to learn about myself as an artist. So with that being said, I also told them that I wanted to play new music, guys. So I'm gonna play you guys my first album coming out called Gashi. I'm gonna play you guys my first single, um, my last single before the album comes out with DJ Snake called Safety. And then after that, I'm gonna play you guys uh, my 80s album. I'm playing you guys an 80s album. And uh, you know what? This era is amazing, but I fucking hate it, okay? I hate this music that we putting out. I hate the bullshit SoundCloud shit. I do not co sign it. I'm not with it. You know what I mean? I'm not. And, and you know what, guys? I don't want to sound negative. It's not for me. Maybe it's for you, but it's not for me. And so I, 
I build a time machine to escape this era. So I built a time machine, I went in it, and I fucking went to the 80s. And I made an album, and I brought it back for you guys, okay? So that's, that's what the shit is. That's let's it. Go. That's it. Okay. You ready? Yeah, all right, let's connect. All right, uh, so just yeah. your phone up. Make some fucking noise, man. I'm out. Yeah, thank you guys so much. That girl over there definitely don't want me to come back to JBL. She's like, well, I turn this shit up one more motherfucking time, bitch. <laughs> Tell me to turn it up one more motherfucking time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you. Uh, I like your tattoos, by the way. I got like 10 yesterday. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, questions? Yeah, so we got pizza now. Okay. Uh, and we're just going to do a meet and greet. So yeah, yeah we can uh, just disperse. The hold on, hold on. Any here. producers in here that came to see me today? Okay, every producer in here that came to see me, make sure we link up. Um, any artists came to see me? Artists right there, make sure we link up and I'll get your information. Uh, and anybody that have any question that can't do it right now, um, I miss fucking New York pizza, so let's, let's talk about it, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you again for coming. It means the world to me. And uh, JBL, you guys have the best speakers in the motherfucking world because you saved me. I used to walk around with a JBL speaker in my bag when I was homeless. I used to charge it up in Apple, run out, see my favorite artists, and play the music and chase after them. So JBL saved me so much. I love you guys. Again, thank you so much for being here. 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 Let's go! Thank you.